Welcome back to the Streamline Technologies Modeling Tips video series. In this video, we will describe how to model hydrodynamic separator devices in ICPR. There are many manufacturers and design variations for these pollution abatement devices. For this video, we will focus on a simple baffle box and a vortex separator. Separators can easily be incorporated into your drainage network in any ICPR model using either rating curve links and the associated head discharge curves from the manufacturer, or they can be modeled as a series of internal nodes and weir links to allow ICPR to calculate flow through the structure. This is the approach we will present in the examples in this modeling tip video. Also note that separator devices can be modeled inline or offline from the rest of your drainage network. Let's discuss node placement and weir link considerations for two example devices now. The first example includes a simple two chamber baffle box. Background images have been added to show a side view of the structure for clarity. Stage area type nodes are placed inside each chamber. A pipe link connects the drainage network to the inflow location of the baffle box structure. Specifically, the link connects to storage node A, which has been placed inside the inlet chamber. A single baffle is included in this design to trap oil and other floatables. The opening underneath the baffle is modeled in ICPR with a rectangular vertical weir link. This weir link connects to the outlet chamber, which is represented in the model as storage node B. And finally, an outflow pipe link allows flow to continue through the structure and onto the primary drainage network. This second example includes a vortex separator. Again, background images have been added for clarity. Water enters the top of the chamber at node A, and flow can continue either through the bottom vortex opening or over a bypass weir to the downstream side of the structure at node B. This next image depicts a side view during a low flow event. Water enters through a pipe link connection to node A. It then drops through the vortex device into the bottom of the chamber at node B. This opening is represented in the model as weir 1. The opening from the top of the structure to the bottom is on a horizontal plane, so it's important that the weir type is set to horizontal. To exit the structure, water must well up through another opening to the outflow pipe. However, because dimensions for this opening match the vortex opening, you can simply assume that the bottom node B connects directly to the outflow pipe with no other hydraulic losses. Finally, I'll turn on a side view image depicting a high flow event. I'm going to add a second weir link to the model to allow conveyance over the vertical rectangular opening. This acts as an internal bypass for larger storm events. And that completes the nodal network components for this hydrodynamic vortex separator.